guys, Tracy here from Uniquely Creative. I'm gonna make a layout today using our Steampunk Boutique Collection, which is quite a feminine collection on one side, but all the B sides have all these beautiful masculine tones. So I'm gonna create a layout uh, using all the B sides uh, of my boys. I've got some photos here. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do yet, but I'm gonna pick one and we're gonna make a layout. I think I'm gonna use this one as my base. So I'm gonna start off by just cutting off my barcode strip and distressing the edges. Next, I need to choose my photo. I think I'll do this one of Josh. Using our new sanding block, I'm gonna use the edge bit, I think, just to roughen up the edges of my photo. Okay, I'm gonna use the other piece of this to create some little mats. Keeping this separate, because I might want that later, I'm thinking. This one is interlaced, which is this blue one. And I just want some bits of this more gray side. And I just want some various sizes. So I'm going to distress all the edges of all my little pieces of paper slightly. I might make a, a banner out of this piece, I'm thinking. And I might go that side. Quite like this side of this as well. I really like this little clock bit. I want to bring some more of this blue layer in, so I'm going to do this guy in here. I want these cobs. I kind of want these cogs to be sticking out the top here a little bit. around with that. I think I want to use this blue with one of the dyes. So this is our new Steampunk Gears dye. I'm just gonna cut a couple of these out of this sheet. Okay, so I have cut those guys out. And I'm going to trim them down because I think I'm going to layer them in. All right, let's start adhering all this down. Just going to move it all off. Got my 450. I think I'm gonna mount my photo. I'm just gonna use some of our strips to do that. So now I'm just literally gonna glue all of my layers down. I'm 
using this as a guide. Always bringing my photo in as a guide for my little three little banners. This is also going to get mounted, so I'm going to put my mounts on. Now these are the ones we're going to put on the sides. This is the one I wanted at the top. Still want him there. One thing I like about this glue is I can lift it for quite a, a bit to get it all looking perfect. I want to add, see how I've got these strips here? I want to add a little strip of that in. That'll let me, I leaked my glue. So I'm just adding that strip in. Now I just want to add some more over here. I'm not sure on this one. All right, I want to go under both these layers. So I'm just going to lift this. So now I've got this kind of spiny thing and this in, so I'm mixing those in. Now I'm going to use these cutouts I did for the die cut and some of my wooden cogs and then I'm going to mix them in with a whole bunch of my metal cogs. And I really want this to be my title. I think I'll run my title along there somewhere so I'm just going to pop out my cogs. So I'm going to layer all of my wooden ones down first, I think, and then mix them in with my paper. I'm going to go this way a little bit with that because I'm going to put the number 19 just there. So I might just glue this on. These are our little mounts. I'm just going to put a couple of them on as well. So that is glued in place. I have a bit more of an idea of where I wanted my cogs to go. Maybe one in here. I'm going to layer my paper cogs in now. So I'm kind of making a visual triangle here out of my cog layers and with these guys as well. What color? I think we'll stick with the brass on this one. You can also get these in just brass. Yeah, that big guy looks good. Put him under there. Creating all these cute little layers. Like we need something here, so let's put a little guy there. Okay, that's glued nicely. Okay, so now we're just going. I'm just gonna have a quick look through. These are all my creative cards and leftover bits from one of the uh, the cards I made. I'm just gonna trim this a little bit more because I don't have any other white edges on my layout. It's kind of cute. Hat. 
Here's another one. I might put that guy over there. Another little hat. Okay, so I'm just going to cut out my 19 to put here. What colour do I want to cut it out of? I think I'll cut it out of the blue. These are our giant outline numbers. I'm just going to see if this is too big. But I think it should be good. No, that should be fine. So I'm just going to cut that out. All right, I cut it out of two colours because I'm not sure what color I want, whether that stands out enough, whether I want the outline or the inside. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the blue. And that's it, we're almost done. I also found these, and these are, there's a die to cut these out, but I don't have it with me, so I'm just gonna trim some of these very quickly on my trimmer. Okay, so I was thinking I might put some of these over here. All right, so I might put these in here. Let's add a tiny little bit of detail. There we go, that's it. I am done my layout. So this is with that beautiful feminine flowery collection. I have created a beautiful masculine layout. Thanks for watching guys, till next time, bye. Mm -hmm.